Thank you. Welcome, everybody. I'm Gemma Burgess from the Cambridge Centre for Housing and Planning Research, also in the Department of Land Economy. And I'm going to talk to you now about one of the mini projects that we um, undertook for the uh, Centre for Digital Built Britain. And I'm going to talk to you about uh, BIM in the UK house building industry. So this is uh, volume house builders building residential housing, opportunities and barriers to adoption. So we're ready to go. OK, so the, the context of this is that uh, we have a housing crisis in the UK. Uh, we lack supply of housing. Um, we have very few volume house builders left. And it's an industry that is somewhat renowned for perhaps lacking in innovation. And so where does BIM fit into this? Well, in a sense, we thought about BIM just as being a way of information sharing um, in the residential house building industry so that the, um, the people who are in the Taylor Wimpy head office, the people who are in the local site office, the architects and the contractors who are coming to put the wiring in and the plumbing in all have access to the same information about the same house that they're all trying to build. Why might this be a good idea? Well, it can improve energy efficiency, improve sustainability, but importantly, it can save time and it can reduce costs, mostly because it can prevent costly reworkings when you get on site, because you can test materials, test schedules digitally before you actually get your contractors out to start building houses. A recent example of Nottingham City Homes, they built an affordable housing development last year using BIM technology, and they thought that it saved them 5% on their costs compared to a similar development that they built at the same time without using BIM. However, what did we find? Well, what we actually found in talking to the volume house builders, talking to the industry, is that the UK uh, volume house builders are really lagging behind. So BIM is quite commonly used by architects, by engineers, by different parts of the sector, but the volume house builders have little invested in it, and outside of their regional offices, it's little used. Now, in talking to the house builders, why, why is this the case? And we've got some quotes here that just summarize our findings. So house building is fundamentally still a cottage industry. The technology is there, but it's the investment of time that's the problem. And it's not unusual for a plumber or electrician to just make it up as they go along. And these things really summarize what we found in the residential house building sector. So actually, really, it's a supply chain issue that prevents the take-up. Because whilst there are a few volume house builders, there are many, many subcontractors who are actually building homes out on site. And actually, the building model is incredibly local. It's very flexible. And that includes the information sharing, too. It's very local. It's very on-site. It's very responsive. There are also huge staffing and skill shortages across the industry. Um, and this put pressure on time and resources to invest in BIM. We made some recommendations. These are mostly around awareness raising, using real life examples to try and showcase the benefits of taking up digital, te digital technologies. Um, but also, it needs to be something that's both bottom up and top down. Um, and including it in college courses, a lot of contractors, um, this is where their education comes from. Uh, we also identified gaps in further research. And this is really about learning from other sectors, from other countries. How have they used BIM in their house building industry? How have other sectors tackled the supply chain problem? How do we quantify the benefits of BIM to the house building industry? And also off-site housing manufacturer. Is this a red herring or a golden opportunity? And this is something that we would like to explore further through our um, Housing Digital Built Britain network that I'll be back to talk to you about in a moment. And these are our contact details if you'd like to connect with us. Thank you.